You can be right and you can be wrong at the same time. Did y'all know that? Okay, let me give you an example that happened just this week in the Ellis house. Um, The other day we were driving home and as we were going, my wife, she told me about this new baby monitor that she wanted for our daughter Ruth. Our daughter Ruth is going to be born in just a couple of weeks, and so y'all can please pray for us as we get ready to welcome in our new daughter. And um, she was telling me about this baby monitor that she really wanted, but it was like $200. And I said, babe, we are not getting a new baby monitor. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. The one we have for Esther works perfectly fine. Not getting a new baby monitor. It ain't going to happen. Not going to happen. Okay, I was right. but I was also wrong. (laughs) You can be right and you can be wrong at the same time. So me and Ashley, we made a a compromise. We decided that we're just gonna get a new baby monitor, so. (laughs) Because you can be right and you can be wrong at the same time. See, Peter was right, Jesus is the Christ. But he was wrong based on the type of Christ that he was going to be. Do you know why he was wrong? Because he thought that Jesus was going to give him what he wanted when the truth is Jesus came to give him what he needed. See, Jesus doesn't come to give you what you want. Jesus comes to give you what you need. For Peter, it would have gone really good for Jesus to be the Messiah that he expected. I mean, just think about it. You're Peter. You are the right-hand man to the Messiah. It's going to go good for you. You are number one in the entourage of the king. It's going to go really good for you. Like when they move into Solomon's palace, guess who's getting the poolside cabana? Peter. Right? They may be poor right now, eating a bunch of fish, right? just pulling coins out of fish's mouths and multiplying loaves, but just wait until... He's the king. Oh, man, from then on out, it's going to be good, finger licking, eating good. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing because it's awesome being the right hand of the king. Just think, everyone's going to know his name. He's going to be prestigious. He's going to be powerful. I mean, he's going to be Peter. He's going to be the assistant, the the water bottle holder for the king. It's going to be good because it's good to work with the king. I mean, that would have been great for Peter. I mean, he's really looking forward to this. And then Jesus says, yes, and I'm going to suffer, and I'm going to be rejected, and the Son of Man must die. Peter's like, this is not the way that I expected this to go. This is not what I was anticipating. I thought you were going to be the Messiah. We were going to overthrow Rome. We were going to set up a kingdom. You were going to be the king. We were going to sit on thrones. I thought we were going to rule. I thought we were going to reign. I thought we were going to take charge. What do you mean you're going to die and you're going to suffer and you're going to be rejected and you're going to be hurt, 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 hated by all of the, the religious leaders and then you're going to resurrect from the grave? Jesus, this doesn't make any sense. This is not what I wanted. Jesus says, no, but it is what you need. See, Peter, he could not believe in a God who would suffer. And he made a Jesus in his own image. But we do the exact same thing. I mean, people say all the time, I can't believe in a God who would fill in the blank. Well, I can't believe in a God who would judge others. I can't believe in a God who would say all other religions are incorrect. Well, I can't believe in a God who would send people to hell. Well, I can't believe in a God who would say homosexuality is a sin. I can't believe in a God who would say abortion is wicked. I can't believe in a God who would tell me what to do with my life. I want to tell God what I want to do and what he needs to do because I'm smarter and bigger and greater than more educated than God. We do the exact same thing. I can't believe in a God who would just fill in the blanks. Can I tell you, it doesn't really matter what you believe about God, because he's still going to be God. He's not up in heaven saying, oh no, they don't believe in me. I guess I'm not going to exist anymore. No, he's still going to be God, whether you believe in him or not.